here in the Vancouver area, there's 13 people uh, who should be here around me in Vancouver that were on that flight. In the next door province of Alberta, in the capital of that province, in Edmonton, there's over two dozen. Uh, I reported yesterday on an entire family uh, that was wiped out. There is a very large uh, Iranian community in many centers across Canada, particularly Toronto here in Vancouver. And uh, they have made a lot of friends who've been here for many years. And it's uh, it's very sad. The interest in this story is incredibly intense because 63 of these passengers were Canadian and a further 75 were either Iranian Canadian or they were from Iran or they were visiting uh, Vancouver or Iran doesn't look at them as Canadians because Iran does not look or respect uh, dual citizenship. And these kind of tragedies, when it's in an isolated case, it often leaves scars that don't heal. When it's as large scale as, as this, I mean, clearly it will have an, an, a long lasting effect on these communities. Oh, indeed it will. In, uh, in a suburb of Vancouver, North Vancouver, uh, there was a gentleman who stayed home and decided to allow uh, his daughter, his only daughter, and his wife to go visit Iran. Uh, he runs a bakery, and uh, they were uh, on, they were victims. They were passengers on that plane. And there's a memorial outside, and there was a, and there was a memorial yesterday outside his bakery in North Vancouver, around the corner at City Hall. There's also candles and a memorial uh, there as well. A lot of these uh, passengers, there were doctors, there were professors. Uh, the gentleman, the husband of the family that was wiped out, he was actually an engineer that helped build the subway or the metro line that we have here in Vancouver. Uh, so the ramifications are being felt well outside of just the Iranian community, which has been here for decades.